I don't like it. I don't, I, I don't see the use for it. I mean, it's kind of like going to a strip club. I've never been to a strip club. And but for the main reason that I'm here going, why would I go to a strip club to get all worked up then to not be able to do anything about it? That's stupid. That, 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 that's to me, that's completely, it's completely asinine. So if anything, spend that time with your significant other. So they, you know, they've got some intertwining issues that they need to talk about. I mean, for one, you know, and, and, and that stuff is, can be, and if you look at it, it's just as addictive as, as, you know, any kind of drug out there. It, it is triggering things in the brain that, that people, so they can, you know, it just, it takes them over. So they've got a lot of talking to do, my opinion. I mean, it's. And if he's watching certain things or if he's looking at like, you know, obviously there's different, different types of stuff to watch out there, but you know, have that conversation with her and be like, Hey, you know what? Can we, you know, spice things up? I'd rather have some spicier moments with you than have five minutes of spicy time by myself. Like, Amen. I, I don't know, I guess. Amen. Sorry amen. Sorry for me being blunt, but uh-uh. Uh, no, I love it. I think that's a liter- you, you've hit the nail on the head. I mean, here's the thing. If, is, if, you're, if your personal life in, is getting stale, have the talk. You got to, you got to communicate it again. Like Justin said for the last one, it's all about the communication. You know, if things start to get stale with my wife and I, we always have, we have a conversation and you know, when it comes so my wife for, for years, she would, she always had some female problems for years and, and she would have, you know, periods twice a month. There was something majorly going on and it, and we, we went to doctors and, and, and so it, it was kind of, I would say that the, uh, there, there was a desert time and, and it would, it would, it, things would happen when it needed to happen. But there was, there was moments of that, 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 when there, I was in the desert and I, but I understood because I'm not a jackass. And when it comes to, uh, you know, my female issues, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm that weird anomaly. I read everything. I probably know more about the female anatomy than most, uh, most men, actually probably more than most women. Um, and so I found out what the, I thought the problem was and my wife's like, no, that's not the problem. And so Finally, I got her pushed to go to see see her doctor and bring that up to him. And when he did, when she did, he's like, "Hey, yeah, let's test for that." He goes, "Why? Did, I didn't even think about that." He, he's literally telling her, "I didn't even think about that." And he's and he said, "Why? Why? You know, how did you find that out?" She goes, "Well, my husband." And so she they tested her and she, it was positive. And so the the in in the, the long story short, what ended up help having to help the problem, we were done having kids. I mean, we're we're our. And so this was a couple of years ago. And my wife's like, I'm just going to have a full hysterectomy. I'm like, done. And they end up keeping uh, her ovaries instead of, you know, for everything. But they, they took everything else out. And she's had no problems, obviously. And her life has gotten so much better. Her quality of life has gotten so much better. And honestly, our our uh, our time has gotten even better than it ever has been. I mean, it's almost, in, in some cases, and I'm ratting myself out here. And poor Justin, he's like, oh, my gosh, why are you telling me this? Because he, he knows. He, I, Justin and I have been friends for, what, we figured 17 years. Um, 17 years, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That's yeah. your BFF. <laughs> yeah, well, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he, but it's a, uh, you know, we, 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 we do pretty well. I mean, yeah, I, I have no complaints. And my kids are like, probably if they're, if they watch this or listen, they're just like, oh, gross dad. But yes, it still happens. So I think this, again, I, there's, there's, uh, in every, it seems like in every one of these, uh, emails that would have been getting the underlying issue is communication. And I, I, and I don't know how they don't, I don't know how old any of these people are. And I, I, I can assume some of them are fairly young and maybe I'm, maybe we're, I mean, I'll, I hate to say it, but I'm going to, but. Um, maybe I'm, we're talking to the, you know, the, the phone generation that that's how they do. They communicate just by texting. You got to have that conversation. You got to put the phone down and, and actually talk, put the game controller down, whatever. I mean, and I feel like the longer that you're in relationship with somebody, like if you can't sit down and have those, you know, deep heart to hearts with your significant other, as you're, you know, the years start piling on, then that's your you know, telltale sign well, that, you know, you need to get out. Well, like, you're, you're destined you for a divorce. To talk to your partner. Yeah. If, yeah. You, if you can't talk to your partner, then you're destined for, for uh, a sad, hard breakup. I mean, you, you have to communicate. You, I mean, it's, it is, well, okay. So uh, you know who you, you guys know who Jordan Peterson is. Some people like him. Some people hate him. 